This episode of Out of Spec Reviews is brought to you by Magna. More on that later. Hello and welcome back to another Out of Spec Reviews video. It's a very impromptu one because I'm with kind of a friend, family member, Cam, Alyssa's cousin, I think is how it actually goes, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then Tymon's in the back because um, you have a Rivian R1T. I do. And it's blue and it's wonderful. <laughs> and what we're going to do today is talk about what it was like to buy the Rivian, your delivery experience, what it's your first week's been and obviously you have some impressions and things i think we should talk about so i figured we'd go for a drive here in beautiful west of detroit because <laughs> we've learned detroit's not the most beautiful place and uh yeah we'll talk about what it's like to own your r1t cool let's do it so cam you've had your truck for how long i've had it for 10 days, I think. That long, really? That so long. you're one of, were you the first or one of the first in Michigan? Uh, definitely one of the first. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty amazing. And so before we talk about your ownership, can we talk about the exact specification that you went with? Sure. So this is the R1T launch edition in Rivian Blue. Um, it has the, uh, I guess I call it the off-road package. Right, with the yep. tow hooks. With the good wheels, the tow hooks, yep. uh, and all the underbody protection. Underbody protection, yep. yep. Uh, 20 inch rims with the all-terrain tires. And someone said you can't actually add the underbody protection if you don't get it because it's physically bonded to the bottom of the battery pack. Oh, is that true? Well, I don't know if it's true, but I was just re glancing through yeah. the forums and they were like, there's a reason Rivian says you can't add it later on because it's not just screwing in the tow, the recovery hose. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so it's actually like a, a different underbody design. Yeah, so they just changed your uh, configure, your configurator, so you can do underbody protection or tow hook separately. Oh, neat. Um, this configuration, because I really love the blue, had that underbody protection um, and tow hooks on it, so that's what we went with. Right, and it's, uh, yeah, super nice truck for sure, and it's the four motor, large pack, 135 kilowatt hour version, yep. and it seems like it was built uh, actually way after the truck we had tested. <laughs> Ours was what, like 1,000 something? I don't. Yeah, and this is another 2,000 on top of that, yeah. roughly. And so that's pretty amazing to see, you know, just that many cars in, in literally a month or two. Yeah, the forums <laughs> have been going crazy with everyone getting their deliveries. Yeah, are so, stoked. yeah so, so you you got your truck. Obviously, we've reviewed the truck. I think we've done everything we could in a week with the Rivian. But what was it like when you, you know, you obviously you had a reservation in, they, they said, hey, your truck's ready. What did that process look like? How did it go? Were they, did you, like, I, I hear people get guides. This episode is proudly brought to you by Magna. Magna is a mobility technology company that is super unique because they touch every aspect of almost every car in the market, especially a lot of electric vehicles, and they even can produce vehicles from the ground up. Now, you may remember I shot a series just recently testing some of their new electric vehicle powertrains, so stay tuned for a lot of Magna content to come. We're going to be going in-depth with some really interesting topics with these guys, and Out of Spec wants to thank Magna for sponsoring this review and tons of other videos to come right here on Out of Spec. We look forward to working with Magna to define and find out what the future of mobility looks like. Yeah, um, the, the process is awesome. I mean, oh, super so seamless. The guides, you get assigned a guide, um, you know, maybe a week, two weeks before your delivery. Um, so you can get talking with them, make sure your configuration's right, um, give you all the details. My guide, Andy, was fantastic. Um, so if you get Andy, you're in good hands. Um, and does he cover a specific region? That I don't know. Because yeah, they're all in that. Illinois. He's in Illinois, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, he also just got his blue um, oh, right nice. before I got mine, so he was very excited about the blue. Um, so yeah, yeah, it was a great process. The customer service is great, just having someone hands-on with you, um, going through that process, helping with paperwork and all the details. Yeah. And you also have a Tesla Model Y that you went through that process buying from Tesla. Yeah. So how does that differ? Um, I found Tesla to be way more hands-off, more a little more on the like, 
you're buying a car from a dealer. Um, Interesting. Just like here's the process. You yeah. Do that. And you know, it was fun. Like you know, the Rivian guys are just super excited to get you um, behind this like awesome vehicle. Uh, so it's yeah, it's an exciting process. So when you get your truck, you get your guide. I've seen online this is zero through eight thing. Are mm -hmm. you familiar with that? Yeah. So what what exactly is that uh, checklist of some kind? Yeah, I'm glad that you remind me of that. Um, I thought that process was great to navigate through. It's just a step by step checklist to, you know, get your details um, loaded up and. So it's uh, like contract, work. payment, yeah. license. You have to. Some people were saying you have to give them insurance before you take the truck. Yep. Which isn't always customary. Yeah, I don't states. know if that's state by state or it might be. Uh, Michigan has some well, interesting I insurance think, laws, so yeah, it might be something along those lines. Yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, it's a checklist um, and really walks you through the whole process. Um, if you're doing a trade-in, they handle the trade-ins all online. You tell them about your car. So you can actually trade in a car to Rivian. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I, so did you trade in a car? Yeah, I traded my uh, Grand Cherokee Trailhawk for this. And what was the value like? Was it? Pretty good. I assume very, not co very retail. comparable. Yeah. yeah so you, they're just sending them to auction. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, if you look at like Carvana, if you do something like that, yeah, very comparable pricing. That's pretty good because Carvana is paying a lot of money for cars. <laughs> Same with like Broom and Driveway.com. Yeah. Did you look at those sites and see if they were higher or lower than Rivian and try I and did. negotiate and a bit? No negotiation. Okay. Um, their offer was very nice, so yeah. we wanted that. And uh, cool. yeah, they brought they brought the car to my house and uh, drove away in my. Trixie the Grand Cherokee. Yeah. <laughs> so they did they uh, put it like I, did they drive the car physically to your house or put it on a truck? So because I'm in Michigan um, and Plymouth is only 20 minutes from us, mm -hmm. they drove this one to us. Oh, nice. Yeah, That's cool. I've seen guys getting them delivered on truck. But yeah, yeah, our friend Will in Fort Collins back home got his delivered on a rollback, but it's 60 miles from downtown. So I guess that makes sense that they yeah. aren't doing that. And so yeah, you got the truck, cool. You got temporary tags. Are they helping with registration and all of that? Yeah, I'm waiting on the good old uh, Michigan Secretary of State. Yeah, <laughs> I'm dying to get my plates in. Yeah, yeah, of course that'll be cool. And what do you think? I guess that. So it, actually, I'm pretty surprised because we haven't talked about your delivery experience yet. This is the first I'm hearing about. It. I'm surprised it was that smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah which me is too. Cool. Um, you know, we took care of all the paperwork online, just working with my guide, and then it was just schedule the time for them to come by um, and you can customize your experience there too so if you just want them to drop it in your driveway and then take off they'll do that or if you want to spend an hour and they walk you through all the nuts and bolts of it um, they'll do that they're very knowledgeable oh, yeah, uh, they that's couldn't cool. answer anything that um, I asked um, so we went through the whole thing um, yeah so it was really good and what do you think about the truck itself now that you have it so you've, you've done 10 days how many yeah. miles have you put on this thing do you know um what was i at yeah. 750 790, so i got it with yeah. 50 miles on it oh really fresh then that's yeah. even after them driving it too. yeah wow. yeah they like yeah like fresh off there yeah. <laughs> still warm from the uh -huh. oven um and so you know at 800 miles I, I saw you had sent out, sent me a list of some suggestions that you had, all of which I thought were really valid and yeah. made a lot of sense. Uh, but is there anything you wanted to share? Because I know some folks from Rivian will watch this. Like, what do you think off the top of your head that maybe you'd want to see improved or that you're impressed by? Yeah. So, I mean, I think first is like first impression is this is like super well made. Um, the car is solid. It drives great. You got no wind noise. You yeah, know, we're doing 50 miles an hour great. back country road. It's a windy day here, cold. Um, it's quiet. Um, everything feels solid. Doors feel solid. Seals are tight. Um, hoods, every latch, everything. Um, I haven't noticed any real body misalignments. I think they did a really yeah, nice well, job. Yeah, I walked around your truck yeah, when we first got there, and it's super solid. And yeah. so was the one that we reviewed. I guess it's expected for the review truck to be <laughs> yeah. gone through. Yeah. But I will say, like, our review truck had some wind noise here on this window, and now this is the second Rivian I've been in that doesn't have that. Yeah. And so really impressed with, uh, you know, the build quality. I, I would say, time, and you've been in both now. Wouldn't you say that Will's truck and Cam truck feel even a little bit better than that really early one we had yeah, i would say it's a bit quieter yeah and smoother as well yeah i i totally agree i'm feeling less drivetrain slop and some other things obviously ours had like a really hard four thousand miles on it so yeah um and 
and as you know, right, I mean, so the main thing is that I think the hardware in this is fantastic. Like, mm -hmm. I think they've put a lot of effort and a lot of really good time to get the hardware right and get the drive right. Um, and now it's software, which they could just push yeah. that over the air, right? And I that's have the same fantastic. impression. It's like they obviously put some serious power behind this UI system here. For sure. The thing's, I would say, snappier than the Tesla is. It's just yeah. way faster than the Tesla. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I haven't been in my Model 3 in a little while, but just like moving through these <laughs> You're gonna screens. You're going to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty amazing what this can do, but also there's a lot of room for opportunity. So like yeah. Alyssa was really, I don't want to necessarily use the word disappointed, but she really wanted dog mode in this uh, thing. I really want dog mode. I think everyone who owns yeah. a Rivian has a dog. <laughs> yeah. So like <laughs> right. dog mode. <laughs> yeah. And then there should be a way to like monitor cabin temperature from your phone. I You have the phone app. Can you do that? Um, you can you obviously can, set the temperature. You can set temperature. I do think it shows you it actually now shows you the uh, okay what the ambient temperature is in it well that's pretty good then. yeah it is um, you know the Tesla app has a little more control yeah. right now um, so if you're trying to compare the two Tesla um, is just the best it's so good it you is good set everything yeah. in there I really like it yeah so so dog mode was one thing we really wanted to see um, and you you actually have put Tucker in here your dog right yeah yeah he's got a his bed in the back with the baby seat. And um, how does that work with him in the truck? Because Alyssa made the video about the dogs and she was like, and he's a pretty big dog. He's a big lab. Yeah, 90 pound lab. Yeah. yeah. And he um, fits fine and all is good? Fits fine, yeah. He's comfortable back there. There's plenty of space for sure. Um, so yeah, I, I got no problems there Yeah. from, from that standpoint. Um, what else was on that list? I don't necessarily recall too much, but I think you had some interesting points about usability of the truck and things like that yeah I think um, I mean some really basic stuff you know like your um, your dash up here I love the dash um, as opposed to like the model 3 or the Y where you're always constantly looking over here totally agree. but after driving a, an electric car for a year I think in percentage I don't think yes. it's miles and from a I get it for, <laughs> you. for someone if you this is your first electric car yeah you probably have range anxiety we'll just right? we, we all have it um, but yeah I think in percentage so I want to see percentage uh, 139 miles like means nothing to me anymore right because we've been doing you can do 139 miles in city driving and then you're gonna go rip on the highway at 85 or yeah. whatever it is and that it has no relevance to what you're going to be doing in the future. Right. One thing I don't think it does, which uh, Volkswagen Group cars actually do a pretty good job of, is adapting the projected mileage based off of the route. So this does really good route planning where it gets you there like on the screen with, if it says you'll be there with 68 miles, if you drive normally, you'll get there with 68 miles yeah. of range, whatever that is. But what it doesn't do is adapt this number here on the screen to the route that you're going on. So that could work, but yeah, just put yeah. percent everywhere. Cause you have to go right. this menu, then you have to click this and then 51%. Yeah. Now I'll say with my like 700 miles of experience on commuting in various conditions, either stop and go or, you know, 85 miles an hour on the highway, um, the range estimator is actually pretty darn accurate. Really good. And really, their algorithms yeah. are really good. I don't know how they were able to get it this good and others are able to get it so bad. Yeah, with, with I mean, relatively little data, right? Yeah. I mean. And you would think that Rivian might actually take the approach of Tesla, which is just use the rated calculation to display miles, which also has upsides and downsides. For sure. Because you know, okay, if I drive fast, I'll do less. If yeah. I drive slow, I'll do more. But I was really impressed because when I did the 70 mile an hour highway range test, I had been driving the truck on the highway in conserve mode for a little while. Yeah. And it was like one mile off after yeah. the entire test. And I right. was like, oh, that's insane. Yeah. So <laughs> really, really good. Um, yeah, so overall, I think the truck's unbelievably solid. And I think that's everyone's big takeaway when they drive it. Yeah. It's like this thing, feels so much better than it needs to be mm -hmm. for a new car company that honestly enthusiasts would give a pass to some stuff. Yeah. Like if it had some creaks and rattles, I'd be like, yeah, but the truck's really cool and it's fast and like, yeah, whatever. But like, it's really solid. Really here. good. Yeah. Um, I mean, definitely, you know, 
my Grand Cherokee. Definitely more solid than the Grand Cherokee. And they've been making those for <laughs> well, a long time, that right? That doesn't take too much, to be honest. <laughs> cool. Well, Cam, I, uh, I'm glad you had a great delivery experience. I'm glad you're enjoying the truck. Um, are there any final thoughts or anything you wanted to, uh, I guess, share with our audience about your Rivian? Do people come up to you about it? All the time. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's part of the most fun thing about this. Uh, yeah, everyone's super excited that these they're out on the road and out in the wild now. I get stopped everywhere I go. Um, and it's great to just see people so excited about EVs. Yeah, great. Well, thanks for sharing your experience. Thanks for watching another Auto Spec Reviews video. Timon, you got anything to say? Uh, nope. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.